Okay, I will begin. So if you come and join me on your mats in a supine position to begin with, we're just gonna open up with a little bit of breath work and grounding. Coming down onto your backs. Just let your arms and legs fall out to the side. Find space in your spine between the vertebrae, find length in your spine, find space in the back of your neck between your shoulder blades and maybe place one hand on your stomach and one hand on your chest. We're just going to bring the attention to the breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just notice how that breath feels within the body. Feel the breath press against your hands. And I want you to think about filling up from the base of your stomach first. So if you're doing this correctly, if you're breathing right, the, stump, the hand on your stomach should rise before the hand on your chest. And whenever you're ready, we're just going to take three deep inhales, feeling that hand rise on your stomach first, drawing that breath deep down into the base of the belly. Layering all the way up through the rib cage, the top of the collarbone, and then exhale completely. And just take two more deep breaths in your own time. Start to let go of any outside thoughts or worries or noises. And start to begin to bring your attention inwards, maybe scan from head to toe and notice how your body's feeling. And when you've taken those three deep breaths, just return back to a regular rhythm of breathing and gently bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug them in tight with both arms and just gently rock from side to side. Massage that lower back into the ground below. From here, we're then gonna just take a hold of the left knee. Exhale as you extend the right leg all the way to the floor and then inhale as you bring that left knee in towards the center of your chest. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then on the next inhale, lift the other knee back up, the right leg. Switching over the hands. Exhale as you extend the left leg all the way to the floor. Inhale as you bring that right knee in towards the center of your chest. Take another nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you bring both knees back to center. Taking the toes to the floor now, keeping the heels lifted, take the arms out wide in a T-shaped position or even cactus them if you want to. Think about gluing those elbows and shoulders to the floor. We're just going to drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers, maybe five each side, releasing off the lower back, unraveling the spine. The better. One more each way. And then gently come all the way back to centre. From here, slowly make your way up to seated. Finding yourself in the centre of your mat. In a seated position. If it's uncomfortable to cross your legs, then feel free to sit however is good for you. We're just going to inhale as we lift and reach with one arm up to the side or the ceiling. Find that space in the um, side of your lats. And then exhale as you reach over to the opposite side. Inhale back to centre, lift and lengthen, switching over the arms. Exhale, reach over to the other side. We're just going to do two more each side. Moving with your own breath in your own time. Last one each way. And then this time as you come back to centre, inhale, take the arms out wide and then exhale as you twist to look over the opposite shoulder. Use that hand against the opposite knee to help you round. Feel the stretch, inhale back to centre, lift and lengthen again, exhale as you look over the other shoulder. And again, just two each side. Two more each side, sorry. <laughs> Three in total. Last one each way. And then slowly come back to centre. From here, coming onto your hands and knees now. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're just going to take five cat cows. 
So you're going to inhale as you dip the tummy, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up towards the ceiling, find that arch position, feel the stretch, and then exhale as you round through the spine, moving vertebrae by vertebrae, sucking the navel back and up, pressing the ground away and pulling the shoulder blades apart. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Three more. Use the breath to help guide you through the movement. One more each way. And then gently come back to centre. From here, taking the hands straight ahead to the front two corners of the mat, sit back onto your heels, find your extended child's position. Forehead to the floor, take a nice deep breath in as you reach as far forwards as you can. And then as you exhale, walk the hands all the way over to the left. Feel the stretch in the right side body. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. And exhale. And then inhale as you walk the hands all the way back to the front. And exhale as you walk them all the way over to the right. Feel the stretch in the left side body this time. Take another nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you walk the hands all the way back to centre. Coming up now onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. It's an upside down V shaped position. So think about first softening your knees as it's the first one of the day. Tailbone high to the sky. And finding that length in your spine, pulling the shoulder blades apart so you've got a nice broad upper back and the neck and head can be free of the shoulders. So you should be able to shake your head around, loosen it off, maybe pulse a few times through the shoulders, take a few deep breaths and then we'll start to extend through the legs. So we're just going to pedal or walk the dog, pushing the heels to the floor, alternating from side to side, getting into the backs of those calves. Starting to open up the legs, the hamstrings, the ankles and the toes. One more deep breath all the way in, find length in the spine, exhale, push both heels towards the floor and then just slowly start to begin walking those feet in towards the hands, coming into your Uttanasana forward fold. Again, as this is the first one of the day, think about drawing the chest, softening the knees, drawing the chest over the thighs. So I'd rather you have bent knees, tummy to thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, and then we're going to take that ragdoll variation. So opposite hand to opposite elbow, and just gently swing from side to side, releasing off that lower back, starting to get into the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings. And just notice as you swing where that stretch transfers to as you move from side to side. Maybe even try pulsing up and down. Do whatever your body feels good to do today. One more nice deep breath all the way in. Find length. Exhale, fold deeper. Plant the hands on the floor. And then this time we're going to come into three crouch curls. So we're going to come down into the bottom of our squat, lifting the heels off the floor, chest to thighs, nose to knees. Find that curled crouched position. And then as you exhale, we're going to focus on opening up the backs of the legs. So stretching through the backs of the legs, straightening the knees, pressing back into that forward fold as far as you feel comfortable. And then inhale, come back down into that squat position. I'm going to do that two more times. Exhale, push up and back, fold. Inhale, come down into your squat. One more time, exhale, push up and back, fold. And then this time as we inhale, we're going to lift all the way up, extend it to Dasana, reaching up tall, exhale, release the arms, shake it all out, interlace the fingers, clasp the hands together, rotate through the wrists. And whilst you're there, we're going to churn through the ankles. So option to either rotate through the ankle like so, 10 rotations, or toes to the top of, uh, top of the foot to the floor and churn like so. We're just going to do 10 rotations on one foot, Challenge here is to keep the hands going as you transfer over onto the other leg. And then just shake it all off. Come and join me in uh, Tadasana at the front of your mats. So finding yourself in Tadasana, feet a hip distance apart. Just take a moment to really set yourself up for this first one. Lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground. 
Feel the ground underneath you. Engage through the legs, tuck that tailbone under, suck that navel back and in, roll those shoulders back and down. Think about lengthening through the crown of the head and just take a nice deep breath all the way in through the nose. Exhale, let the shoulders melt away from the ears. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift the hands all the way up, extended to Dasana. As we exhale, we're going to sink all the way down into our Uttanasana forward fold. We just take three deep breaths here, really focus about drawing the tummy over the thighs, stretching through the spine. So you're pulling your spine out of the pelvis, exhaling to fold deeper into the stretch. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, taking the hands now to the top of the feet, we're going to slide up into a halfway lift. So we're going to inhale, halfway lift, straightening the legs, pulling the body parallel to the floor and pulling those shoulders back and down, reaching forward to the crown of the head, finding that length in the spine. Exhale, melt forward. So we're just going to do two more of those. So inhale to halfway lift, exaggerate that L-shaped position. Exhale, melt forwards. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt forwards, pull out the hands, and then we're going to slowly step or hop back to your down facing dog. So I'll walk mine back for this first round. Find your down facing dog, inhale as you lengthen through the spine, and then exhale as we just gently pedal out through the feet. For this first round, we're going to take things nice and slow, so just spend a bit of time here if you want to, opening up through the backs of the calves, and then we're going to begin with our mobility flow. So inhale, roll forwards into high plank. Option, to drop the knees if you wish. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. And then inhale as you press up to cobra or sphinx. Yogi's choice. Support the lower back in either case. Squeeze the glutes, point the toes, engage the inner thighs. Help the body out and then think about pulling those shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, let the hips melt towards the floor. Send the elbows back and just have a soft bend in the arms. One more deep breath all the way in again. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. From here, we're just going to pedal out the feet one more time. So enjoy this moment. And then we're going to take another vinyasa. So this time we're going to inhale as we roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra or sphinx. Or, and then exhale as you sit back to extended child's pose. So from here, maybe just take your hands slightly wider than you would normally in extended child's pose. We're going to scoop through to cobra from here for the next few rounds. So as you come through, you're going to think about drawing as you inhale, drawing a line through the center of your mat all the way to your hands, keeping nice and low with the chest and head, and then pressing up into your cobra or sphinx, yogi's choice. As you exhale, we're going to melt the body down for this first round and come into three cobra peels. So taking the hands slightly wider, find that bend in the elbow, forehead to the floor, roll the shoulders back and down, squeeze them together, and then we're going to inhale to lift, peeling the body off the floor, exhale to lower. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, one more time. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. From here, take the hands back underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, and press back to your down facing dog. From here, we're going to inhale as we take the right leg up, high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee, open up that hip flexor, play with that scorpion twist, feel that range of motion, play with it, take it as far as you feel comfortable. You can stay with the pedal if you wish for these next few rounds. Exhale, release that foot to the floor and then switch sides. So inhale, left leg goes high to the sky, bending at the knee, opening up that hip flexor, playing with that scorpion twist, taking it as far as you feel comfortable. One more. And then exhale, release. And we'll take another vinyasa. So we're going to inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, cobra. From here, exhale, melt the body down into that um, prone position, and this time we're going to take right hand out to the side, reaching as far as you can, palm flat, shoulder glued to the floor, inhale to lift the left leg up and over, and we're coming into a pec twist, so we're just stretching out the front of the chest, the shoulders, and then rocking back as we exhale, inhale to lift and twist, we're going to do this three times on each side, exhale to come back to prone, last one. 
come all the way back to prone, and then take the left hand out wide, palm and elbow and shoulder glued to the floor, right hand comes underneath the right shoulder, inhale, lift up the right leg, bending at the knee, see if you can reach with that foot over to that left hand for that twist, and again, just three rocks through the shoulder, just taking it nice and slow, going as far as you feel comfortable, and then come all the way back to prone. From here, take the hands back underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, and press back to your down facing dog. Inhale, um, sorry, <laughs> come down onto your hands and knees, sit back into your extended child's pose, and we'll go back to that scoop, sorry, I've missed a part. One more deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then when you're ready, we're going to inhale as we scoop through into that cobra scoop. Press up into cobra, and then exhale as you tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. From here, right leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bending at the knee, opening up that hip flexor again, and then we're gonna take that right foot outside of that right hand for a lizard lunge. If you want a bit of strength, see if you can keep the knee off the floor, squeeze that quad, send the heel back, really be active through that leg. If you just want to sink into a stretch today, come down into that low lizard lunge, knee on the floor, toes tucked or untucked, yogi's choice, and we're just gently gonna press that knee out to the side, opening up the hips, reaching the heart forwards wherever you are, take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, one more deep breath all the way in again, exhale, from here you're going to inhale as you lift and twist, right hand up towards the ceiling, Exhale, elbow tap toward the floor. We're going to do three elbow taps in total. Inhaling to lift and twist. Exhaling, elbow tap toward the floor. The last one, inhale, lift and twist. Exhale, elbow tap toward the floor. Replace the hands. Step back to your down facing dog. And then we're going to take that uh, vinyasa one more time. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, sit back to extended child's pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, find that space in the shoulder blades, wriggle them out. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale as we draw that line down the center of our mat, coming through into that cobra scoop. Press up, and then exhale as you melt that body down into that prone position. This time, we're gonna slide right arm underneath right uh, shoulder, and then reach back with left hand to the inside of your left foot if you can. If you know how to flip the grip, do so. And then you're bringing that heel in towards the quad. Pulsing a few times, opening up the front of that quad. Try and keep both hips glued to the floor in that neutral position. And then exhale, release, and then switch sides. So we're gonna take left arm underneath left shoulder, reach back inside of right foot, flip the grip if you know how, and then just pump out through that quad, heel to glute, Try and keep those hips nice and level. And then replace the leg back down. Coming back down into that prone position, hands under shoulders, tuck the toes, press up and back into your down facing dog. Pedal out through the feet. And then we'll take another vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, press back to down facing dog. This time, left leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, bending at the knee, play with that range of motion, and then as you exhale, plant that left foot outside of that left hand, drop that back knee to the floor, or keep it lifted, whichever you did for the last round, reach the heart forwards, find that lizard lunge wherever you're at today. Just take a moment to just press out that knee, keeping those toes glued to the floor on that front foot. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, sink into those hips as you exhale. One more deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then inhale as you lift and twist, left hand up towards the ceiling, exhale as you elbow tap toward the floor. We're going to do three more, or two more, sorry, three in total. Exhale to elbow tap, inhale to lift and twist, last one, exhale to elbow tap, and then come all the way back to your hands and knees, step back to your down facing dog, pedal out through the feet, and we'll take one final vinyasa. So we're going to inhale as we roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. Option to step or hop forwards to Uttanasana, forward fold. If you're finding that hop, work on the float, see if you can land softly. 
Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold deeper. And then we're back to those three halfway lifts. So taking the hands on top of the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Last one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. From here, inhale, lift all the way up, extend to Tadasana, reaching up tall. And as we exhale, we're going to sit back into chair pose. Sit back into your heels, squeeze the glutes, pull the core back, and pull those shoulders back and down. Hold here for three, two, one. Inhale to lift, exhale, release. And then we're going to slowly make our way down to the floor for our final restorative stretches. So find yourself now in a seated position on your mat. Extend the legs straight out in front of you. Flex the toes back towards you. Pull the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath your sit bones. And we're going to come into that seated forward fold. So we're going to inhale as we find length, reaching up tall. And then exhale as we reach forwards. Think about chest over thighs, nipples to knees, nose towards toes and then letting the head hang finally at the end. So you're stretching that spine over your legs. We're gonna be here for five deep breaths. Actually, as you inhale, think about finding length as you exhale, fold deeper. If you want to add a small pulse to help you get deeper, you can as well if you're particularly tight. Might feel nicer. And just start to work on slowing the breath down Work on feeling where you're tight or tense. Start to let the body release. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way back up to centre. From here, you're going to take the left leg long, right leg's gonna come over the top, foot places outside of that left knee. Option to hook that left leg around the body with the foot sole of the foot facing up outside of the right hip. Just make sure whichever option you choose, both sit bones are connected to the floor. Coming into half lord of the fishes, so we're gonna twist tummy to thigh, hug that knee in towards your chest with the left arm, and then inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale as you twist to look over that right shoulder. Take five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, can you fold any deeper or twist any deeper? And then as you inhale, start to unravel yourself. Unravel your legs and we're going to switch sides. So either right leg is extended, left foot comes over the top, places outside of that right knee, or right leg can hook around and outside of that left hip. Wherever you're at, we're going to inhale to lift and lengthen, twisting tummy into thigh, hugging that knee in towards your chest, and then exhale as you look over that left shoulder. Hold here for five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way back to centre, unravel the legs and come into a supine position. So slide yourself forwards on your mats, come down onto your backs and gently bring your knees in towards your chest. Just have them from side to side as you rock from side to side, sorry. Just take a few breaths. Notice the sensation of that gentle massage across your lower back. Taking a hold of that left knee now, exhale as you extend that right leg all the way to the floor. Inhale as you pull that right, sorry, left knee in towards the center of your chest. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in again. Exhale. 
Inhale, bring that right knee back up, switching over sides, taking a hold of the right knee now with both hands. Exhale as you extend that left leg all the way to the floor. Inhale as you pull that right knee in towards the center of your chest. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, one more. And then slowly inhale as you bring both knees back to center. Taking the arms out wide now in a T-shaped position, glue the shoulders to the floor, glue the palms to the floor, the elbows. And then as you exhale, we're going to drop the knees all the way over to the left. And as you inhale, we're going to lift and twist the head to look towards the right, finding that supine twist. You can let gravity do the work, press down on the outer thigh or extend that top leg and cradle it in the opposite hand. Take five deep breaths. head to center and knees to center and as you exhale drop the knees all the way over to the right inhale to lift and twist the head to look towards the left you can press down on the outer thigh let gravity do the work or extend through that top leg yogi's choice five deep breaths Bring your knees and your head back to centre once again. Hug them in tight, draw up from side to side, enjoy that gentle massage one last time. And then just gently come to still. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And just take a moment to acknowledge how your body feels. Acknowledge your practice. Acknowledge the present. And then whenever you're ready, slowly make your way all the way up to seated. Finding yourself in the center of your mat for the final time. We'll take a nice deep inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, palms together at the top. And as you exhale, bringing the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.